Under this cover is my BMW Z3M Roadster that I've been neglecting because it might have a very serious problem. Early in 2023, I noticed the car smoking a little bit more than normal. Throughout the year, I continued to observe this even though the car was only driven about 200 miles. A shame, but a story for another time. Today we'll be diving into this car to figure out whether we need to tear apart into this inline 6 or whether we can just continue to enjoy the sweet symphony throughout the rest of this year. Now what does smoke actually mean? Well there's a number of reasons why cars smoke. Some of those reasons being it's too cold outside or simply that there's condensation in the exhaust. Now if you have blue or gray smoke that usually indicates that you are burning some type of oil. White smoke can be normal but also in this case it can mean that there is water in our oil. Now the problem with the BMW is I'm noticing a little bit more smoke than what I think would be appropriate. Now, what does this mean for my car? Well, my car sits a lot. It only got a couple hundred miles put on it in the last year. Condensation is very possible, and probably some of the smoke we are seeing is because of the condensation from the exhaust. But I want to be sure that there's no water entering our oil. Now, sidebar, yes, we need to drive the car more, but it's also negative four degrees outside right now. So give me a little bit of a break. Now, how does water enter into the engine? Well, that would be because there would be a bad head gasket. A bad head gasket would mean that water would be able to leak through from the water jacket into the cylinder, which would make the oil and the water mix. Now, how do we know if there's water in our oil? Well, there are two ways to do this to figure out if we have a bad head gasket or not. The first way is to simply check the oil. Take the oil out, take the filter out, and check it. I put a little demonstration together. I'm going to be mixing coolant with oil. If you remember back to middle school and elementary school, water doesn't mix with oil. If you don't remember, here's what it looks like when you do end up mixing the pair. And here's an example of what would happen if the engine wasn't turned on. As you can see in our demonstration, the water and oil don't really mix. But when water meets engine oil and it's heated up, it turns into a white grayish substance that is very clearly not just oil. But there's a second way that we can test this that's a little bit easier. The simple way of testing it is to use a block tester. Essentially what this does is it uses a liquid that turns from blue to yellow if a leak is present. Basically what we're going to do is take a little bit of coolant out of the BMW, fill the test tube up to the line, and well, we're going to see if this liquid turns from blue to yellow. This requires us to start the car up and get some heat into it, however, so we gotta open the garage up and let all the cold air in. The car hasn't started smoking yet, but it will if you give it a second. If you guys can see there, there's a little bit of smoke within the first 15 seconds that the car has been started. We need to ensure the car has opened its thermostat. It seems to have enough heat to do that. So now we can test to see if there is a leak. The liquid stayed blue, meaning it passed the first test. I still want to drain the oil, I still want to look at it, because I just want to be double sure. I want to be sure I catch this early. There isn't a ton of smoke, but that could just be because I'm catching the gasket still sort of intact, letting in a little bit of water. It could just be condensation, and it's a higher probability that it is condensation now than it was a minute ago because it did pass that test, but I'm still not 100% convinced. It's super cold in here. Like I said, it's negative four degrees outside, but I don't really feel like messing up my beautiful new floor and cleaning it up in the cold. Instead, what we're going to do, instead of draining the oil, we're going to inspect the filter, which lives on the top of the motor and it's easy to access. The filter should also tell us almost everything that we need to know. This right here is the filter, the filter housing, being blocked by the intake right here. But if we come here with a 13 millimeter, and we open this up, we can access the filter and take a look at the health of the filter and the oil inside the filter over the last couple thousand miles. And it's also been about a year. That is beautiful. Of course, there's going to be oil around the filter. The smartest idea would be to take this bolt out first. That is a long bolt. Not sure if you guys can see the mess that I made, but I now have access to the filter that we're going to sneak into there. 
So actually taking a look at what we got here, the oil looks pretty clean. It does look a little old, but it doesn't look like water has entered this whatsoever. Obviously with the little bit of smoke we have, I would expect there to be a visible sign based off of that much smoke that there was water in here at some point. If you look at this side here, I'm not sure if that's just from my finger, the little kind of what almost looks like a water streak, if that's oil from my finger or what's going on. That's a little alarming, but it looks clean, which is a peace of mind that I'm very happy about. So what does this mean for the BMW? Well, number one, it means that it's healthy and they're almost 99% sure that there is not going to be any problems going into the future with the car. The only thing that we need to ensure before doing any real driving is that we do an oil change and while we're there, there's a couple of other things that we need to address. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any of that content. I can't begin to tell you guys how happy I am that both my checks went the way I wanted them to go. It would have been a very intensive, labor intensive, and expensive fix if something went wrong with the head gasket. The BMW still has a couple of things that we need to do. We'll get to those in the springtime when we get the car out. If you guys love unreliable cars as much as I do, make sure to click here and go and watch my new car. I bought a rotary, which is arguably more unreliable than a BMW.